right, um, I've never done a valve adjustment ever, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, things like this repair I've done, so which is a lot more difficult, by the way, but it's a psychological thing, right? So oftentimes, a simple adjustment like this seems to be more difficult seems to be so i'll give it a try why not <clears throat> and so therefore So these are, you got to be careful not to over torque these because, yeah, they, they really, basically that's the thread and the rest, they just pull onto the rubber gasket. So you can't, there is really, you can damage them quite easily. So what I did before, I uh, didn't use the bike for some time, so the oil is back in the pan. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're going to crank this engine, right, you're going to have to take out the spark plugs to make it easier. If you do, you can still crank it by keeping the ignition to off. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. All right, so I have it on uh, on the other stand and I'm just gonna hand crank it to see the cycle. because there's a lot of compression that's why you remove the spark plug all right you see the valve moving and looking at this portion here you can see that that valve is all the way up now um, now we can test it the intake valve needs a 0 0.004 and the exhaust needs a 0 0.005 now the intake valve is very clear the intake is here and the valve is here the, ex the exhaust is on the bottom therefore that's the exhaust valve 0 0 0.004 for the intake and uh, clearly this thing isn't going in uh, I've read the specs to be anywhere from um, 0 0.002 to 0 0.004 but uh, many others suggest 0 0.004 and we have uh, 0 0.005 for the exhaust it is a little bit more difficult to see where it is but obviously this is a filler gauge. Because it's a little bit more difficult to see and it's not going in. 
tells me that potentially this is this is also too tight. Yeah. It's definitely too tight. I'm tracing the valve tap and I can get to the gap but it's very tight. I mean, it's closed. Um, yeah, we gotta fix that. All right, let's see if I can crack it with this. Mm. All right, it did. I'm glad. Great. All right, now we adjust. All right, um, I had to make this wrench. I couldn't find the nine millimeter, and I think this is good enough. that's that's where I need it to be okay so when this is at the top dead center for intake then it, that's when it's supposed to be spec to 0 0.004 and so Now it's down, as it comes back up, we're fully closed here. And so that's where we want to have the 0 .004. This is TDC for um, compression. So obviously this hasn't gone into exhaust as far as I know this is also where you should be with uh, exhaust specification all right now it's the turn of the exhaust valve it's gonna be a little bit difficult because can't see anything it's definitely tight 
Um, I have to crank it open and fix it. So there you go, there we have it. We have to not all too snug I gotta still work on it but it's enough to give us another chance to test it out again yeah we're good there just gotta make it nice and tight now So I think uh, it's done and I think I've torqued it enough. Don't have a torque uh, wrench for this, but it doesn't require a lot of torque. And so I know that this sounds about right for 0.04 and 0.06 on the that's the maximum for the exhaust it's just as tight yeah and they're torqued sufficiently tight um, before I couldn't get this in there I couldn't get anywhere near even a 2 0.002 so now it does fit in there and I think I have the sufficiently enough torque but I don't want to over torque it so I think we're done with the valve job um, this gasket was actually it's supposed to go on this on this valve cover it's not supposed to stay on the cylinder head and you gotta make sure that it's inserted correctly it doesn't move as you install it or it doesn't you know move get uh, gets displaced out of that slot and so Gotta make sure that everything is clean. You don't get anything in there. It's not supposed to be in there. And, uh, okay, so it is complete. These two, they gave me a little bit of a trouble because you gotta aim them and it's the end of the job. So my back already hurts. So to sum up this end, it was the most annoying part, putting the valve cover back up. Anyway, um, let's see how it runs.
doesn't look bad at all. 